Okay, so it's the 1st of December. I'm just enjoying an old traditional fire. We live in an old Victorian house, so that's one benefit about this house. Um, this is just going to be a quick one about the royal accession in Thailand. And I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Prince Wajiralungkorn has ascended the throne as King Rem Rama X. Um, his father, King Pomopon, um, passed away at the end of October. Now, Pomopon was revered in Thailand, there's no question about that. Um, but this reverence came at the price of serious attacks on free expression, not so much from the king himself, but from Thailand's notoriously harsh His Majesty laws. Um, Wajiri Lungkong is 64, so he's a few years younger than Prince Charles, but that still makes him on the older end of monarchs to ascend the throne. Um, within Thailand, he hardly enjoys the same sort of level of reverence as his father. One reason for this could be that he has been outside the country for some time. It's also somewhat unusual. Thailand watchers point out that it's somewhat unusual for um, a crown prince to take this long to formally ascend the throne. So technically, over the past month, Thailand could be accurately described as a principality. Anyway, as of tonight, um, he is King Rama the Tenth. I'm not going to say much more, um, except that I hope in the near future these appalling laws are uh, discarded. Um, you cannot have a democracy when people are threatened with jail for up to 15 years for having an opinion. You just can't function a democracy that way because it is increasingly used as a political weapon. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. Um, I hope he has a successful reign for the sake of Thailand. Um, you know, I'm not coming from a Republican perspective here. Um, I respect the views of Thai Republicans, but I'm not personally coming from a Republican perspective because um, that doesn't... I, I don't know enough about the situation to say whether Thailand would really, really benefit with a Republic or not. What Thailand would benefit from is greatly improved um, freedom of expression. And so long as these hideous... 112 laws exist, that will not be the case. So, um, and this is a difficult one because technically King Rama X is a constitutional monarch, so he himself cannot abolish the laws. He can, however, voice disapproval of them. And I believe that um, the international community, any country that respects freedom of expression, needs to basically say to Thailand, look, we respect your culture. We respect the royal heritage, but we are concerned about this situation with free expression. If I were to raise a may, I would raise that with um, General Ocha Chan. Uh, again, I may be pronouncing that name wrong. But yeah, time will tell what develops. But I, I really hope this law is abolished within my lifetime, preferably sooner rather than later.